Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are just gonna be going through, if you have cravings, the top mistakes to avoid doing so you don't, you know, get the cravings and you kind of learn to balance them out and enjoy life. So let's just dive in. So we're kind of doing like, not a vlog, it's not a vlog but we're just going to be doing tasks while we're right, excuse my messy room, while we are getting ready because I have a doctor's appointment soon for the baby. So we are just gonna, let me see if I can prop you guys up. Let me undo that, there we go. Let's see if we can go through this and, oh, that's a bit of a dodge camera angle, isn't it? Here we go. Let's see if we can just discuss um, some quick tips and, you know, mistakes that you might be making with cravings. So let's just dive in with the first one, which is, are you having this all or nothing mindset? Which I find many people do, especially clients when they come to me in the very beginning. So this is why we end up craving um, lots of things is because we cut way too many things out, especially when we're starting like a new diet plan. So it's this all or nothing mindset. It's like either I'm gonna have absolutely everything or I'm just gonna cut everything completely out and then I'm gonna crave everything inside. So you really wanna avoid having that kind of mindset because honestly, it's just gonna make you go down the opposite path. It's okay to have indulgences and acknowledging them. And I really do believe in following like an 80% um, 80-20 diet. One of the key things I think with, if you are craving something and you have this mindset, it's about really looking back and making sure that you're eating enough, first of all. And then I think being able to have a balance. That's what it is about. So if you are you know, craving a little bit of chocolate, have a bit of dark chocolate. You don't need to eat a whole bar or something. It's just having a little bit of something, but don't cut out too much in the very beginning. That's where mistakes are going to happen. Which is then gonna lead me on to my next point, which is, are you restricting too many calories and under eating? Because this is one of the biggest things I also see is that and many of my clients end up basically cutting out too many food groups. So a lot cut out carbs. And what they do is they eat really little food for breakfast and lunch, or they actually skip say breakfast and have a very small lunch. And what happens is you end up getting the crash about four, even three o'clock, even five o'clock, where you end up crashing and feeling like you really need to reach for something that is gonna be high in sugar to give you energy, whether you're gonna have a Coke, chocolate, crisp, you're just grabbing something because you're absolutely starving and you're trying to have something something quick and easy on the spot. So many of my clients do do this and that's something that I see. And one of the biggest things that you need to make sure that you're doing is you are having breakfast and lunch. And make sure, especially at lunch, you are having some carbs. You need to make sure that you're fueling your body and satisfying it with the foods that it needs to nourish. So make sure you have yourself, you know, a salad, add some quinoa into it or rice. If you wanna have a chicken pasta, a tuna pasta, um, a healthy wrap for lunch, Lunch or a sandwich, like make sure you're fueling your body and giving it what you need because that's also going to really help to counteract the later cravings that come in the day where you are, like I said, not eating enough calories. So you're going to sustain your body further. So that's something that I would definitely say avoid doing that mistake. Please eat your food and don't over restrict. I've had my breakfast and everything, but you know, when you just feel like you're in that mood to just pick, pick, pick. So I think I'm going to have myself a little cheeky apple. Um, so that's gonna lead me on to another point. Let's put you guys down here. Come down, oh hey. Let's go on to the next point, which is going to be lack of options of snacks to have. So one of the things I always like to do is make sure that you are prepared. Preparation is key. Obviously we can't be prepared all the time, but especially when it comes to falling into cravings and having snacks. So obviously if we make sure that we are eating enough and you know, we do get hungry later, of course, snacks are always something to enjoy and have. But what I would say is that make sure that you have good option snacks available and around you and prepare and take with you. So snack options that you would have is taking, you know, a piece of fruit, you could have boiled eggs, you could have a handful of nuts, you can have protein bars, protein shakes, yogurt pots. I always think it's best to have something on hand. Now, obviously there's gonna be times, you know, like even later when I'm at the doctor's so if I'm hungry, there's not gonna be something around. If I haven't taken anything with me and I get hungry, I can go to the cafe downstairs and try and grab something to take. And 
I will always try my best to go for an option that's going to be healthy, whether that's just, you know, some fruit that they've got lying around or, as I said, a yogurt pot. Majority of the time, if I am out and about, I will always just try and grab an option that suits me at that time. Like I said, there are going to be times when you can't, but try and always make sure that you are prepared and you have options and alternatives around. Even if you do go for a chocolate, try and go for a dark chocolate or, you know, a dark chocolate rice cake. Try and have options available instead of just saying that <clears throat> there's nothing there so you have to, you know, just go all in or nothing and just have something just because. Obviously, there's times and places for it and life is about balance, but that's always one of the biggest mistakes that I am seeing is that people don't have options readily available for them and they end up just craving and crashing. I think that really irritates me with the fruit in Portugal is that I swear to God, you'll buy raspberries or strawberries and in like two days they go off even though they're in the fridge and they're cleaned and everything i just don't get it i'm gonna have some raspberries not an apple <clears throat> i'm very hungry today i'm gonna blame it on the third trimester so let's move on to another point which is people actually not understanding their hunger cues correctly this is i think something that we all potentially have and that is basically where it can be boredom most of the time, so we're thinking we're hungry, but it's actually just boredom, or it's procrastination. Are we actually hungry? We need to actually sit there and think like, am I actually hungry? Or am I just doing this to do something? Um, and alongside that also comes thirst. A lot of the time, we can't actually differentiate the difference between are we just dehydrated? Um, do we need to actually drink some water? Or again, are we actually hungry? So I always say to people, first of all, just acknowledge you're just doing it out of procrastination reasons, are you bored? Um, and then alongside that, drink water. Check in with yourself, have you had enough? Always try and aim to drink at least two liters of water a day. That's always like my absolute minimum. Um, I normally have three liters. I do live in a hot country and I am pregnant. So I normally have like now like three and a half, but that's just because of those reasons. But minimum i have is two so you really want to check in with yourself and make sure that you're drinking enough water and you have and then on top of that just you know really be honest with yourself are you doing it out of boredom um, are you procrastinating if that is the reason try and distract yourself go and make yourself a cup of tea have water um even grab a coffee do something else instead of just like deliberately just forcing food into yourself just because that's always a very big thing that we see all the time with people um, and again everyone does it i have days where i just feel like i don't want to sit here at work so let's just keep going in the kitchen but then i just have to really say to myself okay just chill out a sec like are you thirsty go have some water and then by the time i've done that i sat back down and i'm working again i'm fine and then i'll be like okay it's lunchtime i'm hungry now like i'm actually hungry i can feel i am so let's go eat so check in with yourself and see guys and remember hydration is always key also, what's the opinion on the lipstick, guys? We feeling, we're not feeling, it's new. My sister said it was too bright, but I, I'm feeling the vibe. Let me know in the comments, because I like it. And my final, final advice to give you is stress and fatigue can also cause a lot of cravings. So it's really important to make sure that you are getting enough sleep. Now, everybody's different, but on average, try and get at least like high fridge seven to eight hours of sleep now i know for some of us that's not always possible i also don't always get that all the time with the toddler sometimes and being pregnant but try your best to always make sure that you're getting good quality sleep have a routine to make sure that you set before you go to bed give yourself something so i always try and say come off your tv or your phone at least 30 to 60 minutes before you go to bed have a chamomile tea do some stretching have a warm shower or a bath and read a book when you get in bed or your kindle or something just to kind of not be on your screen and set a healthy routine up because stress and fatigue can lead to many cravings so if we make sure that we target that that's great and another thing to also do is really make sure that you're providing some care for yourself self-care is so important even if it's five minutes a day that you get a date to yourself always make sure that you're giving yourself time whether that's you know going for a walk you're sitting quietly and having a cup of tea or a coffee you're reading you're watching a show do something that is for you and schedule it in for yourself because you really do need to prioritize not only your physical body but your mind it's so important those things really do go hand in hand and 
with cravings, if you're able to put the time aside to care for yourself and get good quality sleep, you will also notice less impact in those cravings as well. Your body won't be needing to, you know, reach for caffeine or sugar as much to sustain itself. You're able to, you know, relax a bit more and, you know, listen to your body and be a bit more intuitive. So those are my top five tips. So that is the end of today's videos. I hope these mistakes and tips are really helpful for you and you have learned some valuable information today. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel because it really does help. And if you would like more information and advice on nutrition and coaching, don't forget to apply just below this video in the description box for me to personally coach you on your health and fitness journey. Or you can actually watch a free workshop that we do have available as well. The choice is yours. But thank you so much guys and I will see you very soon.